Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See the soul, the truth lies within, and we're going to talk about the 359 day of Akali blessing, where we're going to learn about how to become a child at certain times, at certain situations, and when to become a master in those same situations or that particular time. Let's find out what is the difference between being a master and being a child so as to be successful in any kind of situation. <music> be it your workplace, be it your office, anywhere. So, at the heading, Godfather says, May you be carefree. Now this, if we apply in a life, we'll become carefree in a life. And double light. By going up and down the ladder of being a child and a master. What is this going up and down? We're going to explore that. The ladder. And being a child and a master. Let's understand this. Always have the awareness, as well as being a master, I am also a child. A master is somebody who tells others what to do. A child is somebody who listens what needs to be done. And as well as being a child, I am also a master. So sometimes I need to be a child and sometimes I need to act like a master. By being a child, you will always be carefree. A child is always carefree because the master, the parents are taking care of the responsibility, are making decisions. Whereas a child is following the decisions. I hope you're getting where we are moving with this. So by being a child, you will always be carefree and double-eyed. And by experiencing yourself to be a master, you will have the spiritual intoxication of being a master. When you're a master and when you know what is the right thing to do with experience, what is the wisest thing to do, then you act like a master and you have that intoxication. That is, whatsoever I'm choosing right now in this situation is on a spiritual basis is with values and virtues and I need not be scared. So Godfather says, at the time of giving advice, you are a master. So when in an organization at home or anybody asks you, what do you think should be done in this situation? You become like a master and you give the right suggestion on a spiritual basis with spiritual intoxication. At the time of giving advice, you are a master. Then when the majority finalize everything, you are a child. So you have taken suggestions from everybody. People have taken suggestions from you also in a group meeting. And you gave a suggestion. You gave a suggestion like a master. And when the final chance came, when everybody decided what is the right decision to be made, what is the final decision one should take, that time you become a child. That time you don't force around, no, my idea was the best. Why don't you take my idea? I'll show it to you. See, you'll all fail. If you don't accept my idea, you're going to go down the ladder. No, that time you become a child. That time, let not the ego, let not the jealousy take over. So God says, that's how you'll keep the vibration, keep the atmosphere of the organization pure. And teamwork will happen. Otherwise, if you try to become a master in that situation, a lot of jealousy, a lot of problems, trouble, disparity, inequality and many negative things will start flourishing in that organization or it could be your own home also your family also so God says being a child and a master is also a ladder sometimes climb the ladder that means become a master be the leader and sometimes come down the ladder you should know when to take two steps forward and six steps back one step forward, two steps back, whatsoever you want to understand it as. So God says, sometimes be a child and sometimes a master and you will not have any type of burden then. So that's the way of taking care of the organization, of your family as a leader. A leader knows when to take two steps forward and when to take six steps back. So this is what God is teaching us, become a master and a child. And you can learn more about it at Pramakumari's College Special University. May we learn about this spiritual lessons in our life with this Om Shanti. Mm -hmm.